So I am in the Photoshop here with the uh, Brushstroke Creator Kit brushes. And this is actually from the Glamorous Kit, these brush strokes. And these brush strokes here are, go to image size, they're 300 dpi and they're approximately um, almost four by three inches. So that's a pretty good size. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new document and I'm going to make this, let's just make it 10 by 10. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab, I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna grab the brush and then I'm gonna go in here all the way down um, into the brush stroke creator kit and these range in size you can change the color um, let me go ahead and pull up the brush settings you can rotate these to any you know side you want um, right now I have the blue on so if you want to change the color you can do that by selecting a different color like say if you wanted a rose color you could do that um, so that's like a light pink you can also add a pattern overlay so um, you can um, make it into like a, a shiny foil pink so these are patterns that I have from my um, this is there's also some patterns in the glamorous um, kit but these are actually from my new candy bar kit so you basically can change the size here snap to origin um, 25 is probably too small you can try 50 if that doesn't work you can try 100 um, you can snap to origin you can move the um, the patterns around to your liking you can change the blend mode um, it gives you a different varied effects um, this looks more like rose gold so that looks really pretty um, and then you basically can you know size them in here and make um, a brush strokes like like in like I did here so that is from the kit you can resize them like this turn them around with your control T um, I also have glitter brushes in here so there's quite quite a bit of glitter brushes let me go ahead and um, get my my brush tool out so at the very bottom you're going to find some of the glitter brushes so that is what it looks like so if you hold the shift key down and you just make a straight line you can make the glitter like basically any size you want really um, and I'm just holding the shift key down and clicking in the areas um, right there. You can also turn up smoothing if you want it to keep a straight line without having to hold the shift key down. That's That will help a little bit better. And then you can add a pattern overlay to the glitter and that looks pretty cool. You can change the multiply, um, I mean the blend modes to whatever you want to to give it a different effect. I'm just gonna leave it normal for now and then I'm gonna pick a different pattern, um, like a more glittery pattern. That looks pretty cool. And then you can do a color overlay on the glitter. Um, you can make that, you can sample it from there and make it, you know, like a closer color. Or you can make it lighter, um, whatever floats your boat. Um, and let's see, let's see, normal color. Usually color overlays look better with color, the, the, um, the color set there. You can also change the pattern here to different ones depending on, you know, what you like. I know the Glamorous has different, um, a totally different set of, of colors than this, but I'm just showing you as an example of how this is done. So um, with the glitter, I always find that the smaller settings um, tend to work better, so that looks a little bit more realistic. Um, yeah. 
so I, I kind of like that that looks that's looking really pretty you can also add gradients to give it depth and I find that's really helpful um, the color burn you can turn it down a little bit and that kind of like darkens up the the glitter in certain areas and it makes it more realistic so um, with these brushes you can make them bigger I'm gonna go ahead and delete delete this layer you can make them bigger um, you go ahead and get your brush tool out create a new layer and then go back up to the brush um, the brush settings here where is it the first one yeah you can increase the size um, right here so you can make it bigger and you can just paste it there and then you can control T and then just move it around um, resize it however you like um, and then you can add it next to this brush stroke here pattern overlay um, you can do whatever you like of course um, which is different settings here I'm gonna go ahead and bump this up to a hundred do uh, color overlay snap to origin and let's see here pattern overlay That looks pretty good. I don't know. Um, you can just tr try different ones, see how you like it. Um, you can also play with the different blend modes. You can go to multiply. Um, this one is actually, um, hold on one second. I wanna clear the, the pattern overlay. This one is actually has has it to look like a painted effect so if you go over here and you select multiply you can see like the paint the paint effect here it looks like um, kind of like makeup smeared so you can just change you can just play with those effects I really like that nude color there that looks pretty and you just go in here and you can make all of these yourself um, and then you can save these out as layers. What I like to do is once I create all my brush strokes into one PSD file, I like to go ahead and edit. And then, let's see, where is it? Edit. No, file. It's under file. Export export layers to files so you you would export all these layers to files and you would choose how you want these files you can save them as pings or ping 24 and you can save them like that and um, you can also specify a folder and they will save all of the all the um, the layers out y you can save all the layers out to um, one folder okay so that's basically how you do that um, how you use the textures with the uh, brushstroke creator kit so I hope that answers your questions for you if you have any questions leave it in the comments below thanks so much for watching